Villarreal made its debut in the Champions League in 2005 and had a record run, losing only in the semi-finals by the missed penalty on the last minute of the game. So I became a manager of Villarreal to create a UCL winning team with the help of club legend Diego Forlan. He is back wearing yellow and blue kit. He is 24 years old, 83 rated and has 88 potential which is by the way the actual rating of his base hero card in FC24. We got a K foundation of the young players with good potential in the team like Ramon Terratz, Philip Jorgensen, Jorge Cuenca, Alex Baena and of course Jeremy Pino. But look how many players we have above 30 and Pepe Reina is already 40. Our club should be called Veteran FC instead of Villarreal. Real CF. We are going to fix this starting from the defense. First signing will be Loic Bade, 23 years old, 77 rated, has 84 potential. Next we signed another Frenchman, this time goalkeeper Jean Boutes from Royal Antwerp, 28 years old, 78 rated. He will be our number one because Philippe Jorgensen is on loan for a couple of seasons in Cartagena. And last signing of the first season will be Andrea Kopanik. We paid 23.5 million euros to Monza for him. He is 24 years old. 78 rated has 85 potential we are going to convert him to right midfielder position here is completed squad for the first season we are using 4-4-1-1 formation called Pane from right Baena is a come and Diego Forlan is leading the line let's quickly simulate this first season and check the results in La Liga we are sixth three teams have more than 90 points and Real Madrid won the league with 96 points we were out of Copa del Rey in one of the early stages in Europa League we were first in a group with Ren Panathinaikos and Gaziantep. We passed Atalanta in a round of 16, but we sadly lost to Sparta Praha on penalties in quarterfinals. Diego Forlan has 25 goals and 5 assists in this season. Dani Parejo has come with 14 and 6. Good season from Colpani, 9 and 13. And actually, Diego Forlan has only 16 goals in La Liga in 35 appearances. Not a good season in any terms. Let's see whether we can improve our game next season. Although our mission is to win the Champions League with Real in the end, we are actually going to set other challenges as well to complete alongside winning the Champions League. That is to get 15 total trophies with Real, including winning all domestic and European tournaments. And bare minimum two La Liga titles, also we are going to challenge Diego Forlan's individual records by scoring more than 128 goals, having a season with 40 plus goals and assists, and the final challenge is to win two golden boots in La Liga. And to complete these difficult challenges, we are starting the second season with the signing of another center back, as we have only two Bruh. center backs left in the squad. Aymeric Laporte directly from Saudi League. He is 30 years old, 83 rated and he will give us some confidence in backline for this season. We sign also Umar Soleil, French center back from Salzburg. He is 77 rated and has 85 potential, only 24 years old. We got this Argentinian central attacking midfielder Hernan Mou Munoz from Godoy Cruz, he is 23 years old, 76 rated, 81 potential, he will be backup for Alex Baena. And we got our last transfer of this season and maybe the most important one, Kefren Turam from Mies to Villarreal for 47 million euros, he is 79 rated center midfielder from France, 23 years old, great and well rounded stats and he has also 86 potential. He will be main force in the middle of the park after Daniel Parejo leaves us. We are in the end of the second season and we are third in La Liga after Real Madrid and Barcelona. Next season we will be representing Spain in the Champions League. But sadly we lost to Barcelona in the semi-finals of Copa del Rey. But in Europa League we beat the likes of Freiburg, Atalanta, Tottenham Hotspur. We are going to match Aston Villa in the final of the Europa League. So let's simulate this match. And we lost it 2-1, second consecutive season with not a single trophy for us. Now it seems very unlikely that we can complete 15 trophies objective. Diego Forlan has got himself 33 goal contributions this season. He is third in La Liga top scorers list, 6 goals behind Rodrigo. But to be fair, he played only 28 games. Let's check objectives in the beginning of the third season. But before that I want to show you academy prospects that we have found in his 2 years for left back position. Daniel Alves, Ramiro Gutierrez. 
and Raiko Sierra, they are all on loan. Hopefully one of them can become a starter for us near the end of this career. We are struggling for now towards completing any of the objectives. Hopefully we can win our first trophy this season. For that we have signed Lucas Chevalier from Lille for 41.2 million. He is 82 rated, only 23 years old and has 86 potential. Hope he can grow well already this season. Arguably our best signing so far, Sasha Pue. We got him from Bayern Munich for 25 million plus Juan Foyt. He is also 83 rated, 24 years old but has 88 potential. Good pace on him, good defending and physical. Much better ball playing defender than Juan Foyt. This was the last signing. Let's jump to the end of the season with the hope of the first trophy. We are in Europa League final second season in a row. We were actually in Champions League but we were eliminated from the group stages. And then we beat all our opponents in the knockout phases and now we are in the final against RB Leipzig. Let's simulate this game. And actually we won it 3-1 brace from Diego Forlan. First trophy secured and we actually matched Villarreal's success in 2021 Europa League campaign. In La Liga we are for Real Madrid with third consecutive La Liga title. But actually we won another silverware. Super Copa de España. 1-0 victory in the final against Real Madrid. Second trophy of the season. Sadly no Copa del Rey for us. Diogo Forlan got himself 37 goals and 4 assists. And the hell of a season from Danny Pareja. 22 goals and 10 assists but sadly our captain is going to leave us after this season and Diego Forlan one more time came very close to winning golden boot in La Liga but he ended up two goals short of Griezmann and again good growth from academy prospects on their respective loan spells couple of more seasons and one of them can become a starter for us we got couple of trophies last season also looking good in terms of goals let's keep this momentum and we are going to be just fine so let's jump to fourth season we signed another center midfielder Joao Neves from Benfica. He has 89 potential, 84 rated exciting prospect from Portugal. We also signed backup striker Ivan Ilsen from Porto. And we also signed Olivier Boscagli from PSV Eindhoven for squad depth in center back position. Let's check out the squad. As you can see, Imeric Laporte left us and we have almost full French backline. Our captain Pedraza left back is the only Spanish player in our backline. And we also signed another Frenchman, Boscagli from for squad depth, we have pretty well balanced team in mid 80s and world class striker in Diego Forlan. So I expect to win more trophies this season. Let's simulate and see. Brace from Diego Forlan in UEFA Super Cup final, and we got another trophy. In La Liga, we are actually second with 90 points. Real Madrid again went mental with 95 points and 109 scored goals. I don't have any idea how we can defeat them, but actually, we did it, but only in Copa del Rey. On penalties we won this trophy second trophy of the season and again on penalties we won Super Copa de España against Real Madrid third trophy of the season and in Champions League we were first in somewhat easy group in the round of 16 we eliminated Leipzig in the quarterfinals we won against Juventus 5-2 but sadly we lost to Manchester City in the semi-finals of the Champions League so we matched the record of Villarreal in real life good season again from Diego Forlan 39 goals and 4 assists let's check whether he can win golden boot this season and yes he finally did it 25 goals in 32 games and Diego Forlan got his first golden boot in La Liga and Ramiro Gutierrez went up by five in his development this season he has potential to be special 76 rated left back and Alfonso Pedraza decided to leave us in the end of the season next season we will have a new left back academy talent Ramiro Gutierrez we got first golden boot with Diego Forlan last season looking good in terms of goals and trophies still hunting for La Liga titles and of course the Champions League trophies we are starting fifth season with the signing of Jules Kounde world-class center back 88 rated 28 years old he will give us much needed confidence in defense we also signed Brazilian right midfielder Angelo from Chelsea he will give us squad depth in that position we also signed Diego Lopez Spanish left midfielder as a backup for Jeremy Pino and Gregorio Perez another academy talent went up massively in his rating on his loan spell in Cartagena. He's 75 rated, 18 years old only and has 86 potential. He can become a bench player for us soon. Ramiro Gutierrez will be playing as left back, Jules Kunde as left center back, both Lopez and Angelo on the bench and we also gave Captain Armand to Diego Forlan. And it worked out. We finally won the league after four years of domination from Real Madrid. We got 95 points and scored 100 and 
three goals. We also won Copa del Rey and secured seven trophy. In total, we sadly lost Super Copa de España to Barcelona 4-3 on penalties. And in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, we were eliminated 6-3 on aggregate. We lost to Borussia Dortmund. Good season from Joao Neves and Andrea Colpani in terms of goal contributions. They both have 38 goal involvements, but it is actually the season of Diego Forlan. He got himself 10 assists and 46 goals, 37 of which in the La Liga. And due to that performance, he secured his second golden boot. Last season was the most successful one yet. We won our first La Liga, second golden boot with Diego Forlan. We also got a successful season in terms of goals and assists. We are looking good in terms of total goals and we need to work towards completing Champions League and Trophy's objective. Our second choice goalkeeper Jean Boutes left us in the beginning of the sixth season, but we actually can't sign anyone else because we have spent already 174 million on player wages. They went mental after winning La Liga. So we had to sell Hernan Lopez Munoz so we could afford Spanish goalkeeper Conde from Osasuna as a backup. Luckily we have Gregorio Perez who is already 81 rated and can be a substitute for Alex Baena. Portuguese left back Daniel Alves also from Academy will be backup for Ramiro Gutierrez in left back position. We simulated till the end of the sixth season and we won second consecutive La Liga title 97 points with 100 scored goals. Eight trophies secured. Make it nine. We won Super Copa de España against Barcelona and tenth trophy as well. We won Copa del Rey by penalties. In the Champions League knockouts we beat Arsenal 4-0. Manchester City 5-3 but we lost to Spurs in the semi-finals. I'm actually worried about completing this Champions League challenge because we only left with one attempt. In terms of stats it is again Diego Forlan 50 goals and 4 assists. Our two center meets with great season and Diego Forlan actually won his third golden boot with 37 goals. If you like this video subscribe to the channel and of course put your suggestions under the comments below whose records to challenge next. We won our second consecutive La Liga title, completed goals challenge. Now we need to focus on winning Champions League and as much trophies as possible in this last season. We won La Liga with 108 points, record breaking numbers without any losses. I'm not even sure how we managed to do that. We won Copa del Rey as well, no Supercopa for us. We knocked out Juventus in the round of 16. We beat Bayern Munich 2-1 in the quarterfinals and we finally passed the semi-final stage. We met up against PSG in the final of the Champions League. It is again Diego Forlan and only 27 goals for him. He had only 32 appearances. He must have been injured. Over 40 goal contributions for our center mid Kefren Turam. And in the La Liga top scorers list, Diego Forlan is only fifth, eight goals behind Rodrigo. Here is the team that went invincible in the La Liga. Sadly, Sasha Bue is disqualified for the final. But no worries, Daniel Alves will play instead of him. Overall, we have very well balanced team in high 80s range so let's win this title by smashing this PSG squad. PSG started aggressively, Usman Dembele is completely open but Lucas Chevalier saves us. Another attack from PSG, Mbappe on his left foot and another save from Chevalier. We lost the ball again, Lee Canin tries to finish it and he hits Xavi Simons. Finally we got opportunity in the beginning of the second half, Colpano with the ball finds Diego Forlan on his left foot. He opens the score for us. That's what we needed. We are attacking from the right flank. Andrea Colpani goes himself and actually he finished that attack himself. What a solo round from our right midfielder. And it's all over. Final whistle from the referee. <laughs> I'm not very sure why our fans are wearing white instead of yellow. Maybe we are white submarine. Anyways, let's check the challenges one last time. So we managed to complete all the challenges bar winning 15 trophies in 7 seasons. And if you like this video, you can check how we challenge Thierry Andre's records in Premier League.